Hey, it's Matt with McGee Farms and uh, doing a little bit of a follow-up video on uh, some stuff that I had, uh, some videos that I had made, kind of see how they've held up so far. And uh, one of them I did were uh, some nesting boxes. Of course, I've got my chicken nesting boxes. You know, we're in the middle of January, so if it looks like a mess, it is. It's a farm. If you uh, live on a farm or homestead, it's muddy and it looks like a mess this time of year, especially with uh, almost a month now of solid negative temperatures and rain and snow. But uh, our chicken nesting boxes, we've had them up for a little while. Got a couple different kinds. These, they're just made out of kitty litter buckets. These things work great up until about a week ago. We were still getting about four or five eggs a day out of here. And... Uh, the rain and a lot of this weather has kind of slowed them down. Hopefully, we're going to, uh, you know, get back and start getting some eggs. I just got a couple of incubators that I bought that uh, we're going to try out. Our other nesting boxes, we've taken these from uh, an old chicken house that we had when we tore it down. And they really don't lay in these. The only ones that do are these pigeons that uh, have adopted us. Uh, one thing I will say for the... Uh, uh, for the eggs is these little solar lights. I think I did a little video on that that uh, helps. But the main thing I want to talk about now that I'm done rambling is uh, these duck nesting boxes. We got a uh, two pair, couple pair, two pair of mallard ducks. And uh, I took these storage totes and I brought them in here. I did two. I put one inside the chicken house, kind of in the corner. It's kind of protected. And I've got a second one that I put outside in the run. So I figured this is going to be the one they're going to be going in and we're going to be getting all, uh, all kinds of eggs once they start laying. And uh, what happens with this? Well, the ducks and the chickens and the geese all stay in the same house. And the chickens go in there and they take all the bedding out. And this one has not gotten used at all. And I was kind of thinking a little bit, I was... I was thinking, well, you know what? Maybe I need to go back to the drawing board with these. But if we walk out here to the chicken run, or to the outside run, this one, it's kind of out in the weather, not in the best, uh, best location, I would think. But when I was looking the other day, all the straw is in there. And we got five duck eggs in there. So this one is working, this design, they seem to like. Uh, I see one of our hens in here quite a bit the last couple of days, actually, because I was trying to figure out who's laying the eggs. And uh, it's our little, we've got one pair that are mallard, and then we've got another pair, the male is mallard, the uh, female is half mallard, half uh, blue Swedish. And uh, she's the one that's laying in here. So we're getting eggs from it. I it was debating whether to take them out and try to incubate them, but she's starting to sit on them a little bit, and she's laying more. So I'm hoping I'm going to let her try to do it naturally if we can. If not, I might try them in the incubator. It's still a little early in the year. It's uh, the 27th of January right now, and usually I don't start incubating till about Valentine's Day, but... I don't know, I got the uh, incubators in. I think I'm gonna start pretty soon. We'll see. But that's an update on our nesting boxes, especially the duck nesting boxes, which is the main point of the video. Uh, there's a video that uh, I'll try to link to. Uh, actually, I've got it set up with some of these videos to where at the end of them, uh, some other videos will pop up, and I'll try to link this one so you can see where I was making them and putting them out as well. So hopefully that uh, this helped you out. Maybe uh, if you've got some ducks, you're trying to figure out some good nesting boxes and some ideas that you might have, like I said, don't put them where the chickens can get to it because they just rip all that stuff out, all the straw and hay that I had in there. But uh, out in the runs where the chickens don't go, the ducks seem to like it in the nastier weather. It's Matt from McGee Farms. If you enjoy the video, if they help you out, 
uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. It helps us out greatly. I appreciate all our subscribers that we've had up until now. And uh, going forward, all the future ones. And it, it really helps out the channel. I don't do this for money. I don't do this for fame. I do it because, one, I enjoy doing it. And a lot of the stuff, it's so I can go back later and kind of look where we were at. But also to help other people because I do uh, go through YouTube a lot. And a lot of the things I've built on the farm over the years, I'll watch videos and take from their ideas and kind of use them a little bit. And if I can help somebody else out, it uh, that's the main point of this channel. But subscribing... Watching to the end helps with algorithm, and it suggests the videos for more people to watch, and it just, uh, it helps us grow, helps us get out there a little bit. If the channel, you know, does start making money at some point, then uh, most of what I make is basically going to go right back into different products for different builds. And we got some exciting builds coming up this spring and this summer, so definitely stay tuned. Till next time, it's Matt with McGee Farms. Have a great day.